Noah. She barely uttered the word above a whisper, but he could see, even from the middle of the road, that was the word her lips had formed. He stood frozen in the middle of the road, staring with unbelieving eyes, even though she was right in front of him. His gaze darted to Simon, who by this time had spotted him standing there. He too stood motionless, but only for a moment. Noah waited for the traffic to clear, feeling anxious to get across to her, though every instinct in him screamed at him to turn around and walk away. With her back to Simon, he grabbed Miranda by her arm and forced her around to look at him. What is he doing here? Are you here to meet up with him? I don't know, she sobbed. I swear, I wasn't here to meet him. Simon reached down and grabbed the suitcase at her feet and flipped it open, allowing her things to spill out onto the sidewalk. She buried her face in her hands and sobbed while Simon continued to accuse her of betraying him. Noah watched in disbelief, feeling helplessly unable to cross the street because of rush-hour traffic flowing through the busy main street downtown. Deciding he could wait no longer, he held up a hand to stop traffic and then stepped into the road. Amazingly, the car stopped and he was able to get across both lanes, but not before Miranda collapsed to the ground in the pile of her things that was strewn all over the sidewalk. He approached Simon. "'What's going on here?' This is none of your business, goody two-shoes, Simon said, slurring his words. Go back home, to the community where you belong, and leave us to our problems. This doesn't concern you. He could smell the alcohol on Simon's breath, even at the distance he stood from him. This does concern me, Noah said with a raised voice. You've obviously been drinking, and you're not thinking clearly. I'm not going to stand around and watch you hit her. She's pregnant. What's the matter with you? Go home, Noah, Simon barked at him. I told you this is not your business. This is between me and Miranda. Noah looked down at Miranda, scrambling to pick up her things. The two of you are my friends, and that makes it my business. He cringed at the word friends, knowing he had once wanted to marry Miranda. Well, by the look of her... Simon accused. Maybe the two of you have been more than friends. What are you talking about, Simon? I haven't seen either of you in almost a year. Not since that day I dropped you off here, remember? Why is it that I see both of you here today, and she has a suitcase packed? I had no idea she was pregnant, and when I found her here, she accused me of being the father. It's clear to me that you're the father, and she's nothing but a liar. I'm not a liar. I'm going back home. Miranda said, still sitting on the ground, picking up her things and stuffing them back into her suitcase. I wasn't meeting him here. I was going to take the bus. Noah crouched down on his haunches and began to help her, but then his gaze met hers. Her red-rimmed eyes and bruised cheeks saddened him. God help him. He still loved her. Ah, I know I'm not the Vada of your bubbly, he said gently. Is Simon really the Vada? Her lower lip quivered and her eyes filled with fresh tears.